Greetings of the day to everyone present here. I, Ms. Padma Dhananavar, on behalf of my co-authors, Dr. S. R. Mangalwade and Dr. P. M. Kulkarni, I am here to present our work titled, What Your Tweets Say About You, a case study of extroversion and word usage. The presentation will have the following contents, an introduction, personality and social media, extroversion and social media usage, which will be followed by the methodology adopted in carrying out this work. The results of the work carried out will be presented in the results section, which will be followed by a discussion and conclusion. As a prelude, let us try and understand the extent to which social media has touched our everyday lives. If we spare a minute or two and think of the activities that we generally undertake at regular intervals of time in a typical day. For example, we log into our Facebook accounts to like a travel picture that a friend has uploaded, comment on another friend's status update and depending on the mood or the requirement, post an update of our own. We log into Instagram to browse pictures that are shared by friends on our networks, liking on a few while commenting on the others and sharing our own pictures. On Twitter, we follow and comment on communication threads. We also upload videos on YouTube. In short, from the first waking hour until we fall asleep, we use social media in one form or the other. So much so that social media has become an integral part of our lives. Who remembers life before the internet? The internet has become an integral and most essential component in our everyday lives. The internet has had a far-reaching influence in our everyday lives and has integrated so seamlessly into our lives that for many of us it is hard to imagine a life without it. The World Wide Web or WWW as it is commonly known as has become the primary tool that is used by individuals to not just connect with one another but also to create content. The internet has influenced almost every aspect of our human life, from the way we shop to how we spend our time in leisure. One focus of our everyday life that has seen a sea change due to the internet is our social lives. Our social lives and social interactions are not limited by physical boundaries anymore. Technological advancement over the years have not only enhanced the nature of our social interactions, but also increased the volume of social interactions. Social networking sites or SNSs that, are, that they are commonly known as have become a leading and popular form of online communication and are at the core of this technological online transformation. Social networking sites allow users to share different types of media, not just media, but also information, opinions, etc. And these they share with people in their networks. Usage of social media has grown exponentially over the years and it is projected to increase exponentially in the days to come. Social media refers to forms of media that allow people to communicate and share information using social networks, either through the internet or their smart mobile phones. Social media is everywhere and its presence can be felt in every aspect of our daily lives. Almost every social activity that we undertake, whether on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram or any other social networking site, generates social data. This social data comes in the form of a like, a comment, a status update, etc. There is a large volume of such social data that is being created from these social activities not just every minute, but every second. This social data is unstructured in nature and which can be collected and analyzed to derive valuable insights. This has led to the emergence of a field called as sentiment analysis, which deals with the identification and classification of emotions in textual data. Sentiment analysis finds applications in several diverse fields. The most prominent being assessing public sentiment towards products, politics, movies, etc. Social media platforms have become a medium of expression for users. 
Users not only share pictures, videos and articles as well as their views but also thoughts and opinions through status updates or comments on social networking sites such as Facebook or Twitter. In order to express themselves to the world, individuals make use of social media. These expressions of users on social media describe the behavior of a user and human behavior reflects his or her personality. In other words, this implies that user posts which are made as expressions or users post comments as a form of their expressions can be analyzed to obtain information to recognize his or her personality traits. A user's social media data can thus be used to predict his or her personality or personality traits. Personality trait analysis has been an active area of research and efforts in this direction has proliferated in the past several years. Studies have shown that language can be considered as a marker of personality. That is, personality is revealed in language use. It would thus not be incorrect to say that the character of a person is expressed in not just their comments or posts in social data but as well in the language that is used on social networks. In other words, the language usage or the usage of language by a particular user can be used to analyze his or her personality traits. Extroversion is one of the personality traits of the Big Five model. The Big Five model is one of the most popular and well-researched personality assessment models in the area of personality assessment. Every personality model that is available for use basically divides an individual's personality into several aspects or several dimensions. So does the Big Five model. The reason why it is called as a Big Five model is because this model divides an individual's personality into five broad traits which are also called as the ocean traits. One such trait that has been frequently studied is called as extroversion. And thus it is said that extroversion is one of the personality traits and the most commonly studied personality trait of the Big Five model. Each trait in the Big Five model essentially incorporates various smaller or explicit qualities. So is extroversion. Extroversion in general indicates how outgoing or how social an individual is. It is a more broader character attribute and incorporates several other explicit qualities. Meaning that an individual who is considered to be extroverted or scores high on extroversion is considered to be social. Someone who enjoys social interaction is also considered to be assertive displaying high levels of activity, is also an individual who seeks excitement, is impulsive and more importantly an extroverted individual displays positivity or displays positive emotions. Like already indicated, extroversion indicates how outgoing or social a person is. Extroversion among other factors or uh, among other characteristics has been linked to the use of internet based social applications or what we generally know as know as social media sites or social networking sites. Ex extroverted individuals are more likely interested in interactions with others both offline as well as online. This coming from the fact that individuals who are extroverted are social individuals. They like to interact with others or they like social interactions whether these interactions happen online or offline. An extroversion has been predicted or has been considered the most strongest predictor of social media use. That is because social media sites appeal more to extroverts and they tend to be drawn towards social networking sites. All this coming from the fact that extroverted individuals prefer social interactions. And thus, extroverted individuals are more frequent users of social networking sites with their desire for social interactions. In short, review of literature indicates that individuals who are extroverted 
tend to make use of social media frequently this coming from their desire for social interactions in addition to being drawn towards social networking sites extroverts also tend to display and attract positivity whether on social media or off it there is proof in literature that extroversion is associated with specific word usage and this word usage by extroverted individuals tend to display or demonstrate the positivity attitude of extroverts extroverts tend to display positivity by making use of more positive words in the social media content that they generate studies have in fact connected extroversion to utilization of positive words the usage of positive words coming from their tendency to display positivity it can thus be concluded that one can look at the language in general and words in particular used that are used by individuals or that are used by extroverted individuals to know important personality traits and hence based on this review of literature and the results of various studies that have been carried out the present study sought to explore the following hypothesis that extroverted individuals are likely to tweet more positively as a part of the methodology a test bed of 26 public figures was used and these public figures were randomly selected from various broad domains domains included politics sports journalists writers and so on for each of these public figures that were a part of the overall test bed their tweets approximately numbering to 3000 for each user were collected once the tweets were collected and to put the hypothesis to test sentiment analysis was applied to each user's tweet using text blog text blog is essentially a python library that can be used to automate the process of sentiment analysis and sentiment analysis itself refers to the process or technique of recognizing a user's opinions represented in text and categorizing them either as negative positive or neutral in short given a piece of text sentiment analysis will be able to identify whether that piece of text conveys a positive meaning a negative emotion or a neutral emotion there are several steps that are generally involved in the process of sentiment analysis as depicted in the diagram here there are five broad steps that are considered to be a part of the overall sentiment analysis process the first step is that of data collection this step of data collection consists of or consisted of getting together or collecting 3000 tweets for each user that was a part of our test bed data collection the source of data collection was twitter and twitter apis were basically used to collect the tweets for each individual user once the tweets were collected all the tweets that come from twitter are raw in nature and hence cannot be directly used for the purpose of sentiment analysis the data or the tweets that are collected from twitter are raw in nature and hence needs to be preprocessed so that they are they can be brought to a form that can be subsequently subjected to sentiment analysis this is where data preparation comes into the picture the second step of data preparation in short prepares the data more specifically the raw data in the form of tweets collected from twitter and transforms them into a form that can be used for sentiment analysis data preparation generally includes tokenization limitization stemming stop word removal character conversion and so on so based on the requirement there are several activities that can be carried out as a part of data preparation the whole objective of data preparation is to bring the data more specifically the textual part of the tweet into a form that can be subjected to sentiment analysis the next step would obviously be once the data is available and available in a form on which sentiment analysis can be applied the next subsequent steps were to detect the sentiment and classify the sentiment this two steps of detecting the sentiment and classifying classification involves identifying it to be 
conveying a positive emotion a negative emotion or a neutral emotion so both these steps of sentiment detection and sentiment classification were carried out by text blob please note that this process of sentiment detection and classification can be done using several different techniques can be manually done using several different techniques like machine learning based approaches using hybrid approaches or make, uh, making use of lexicon based approaches since the focus of this work was on establishing a relationship between extroversion and word usage we chose to make use of a readily available python library called as text blob so text blob in this scenario helped us to detect and classify the sentiments carried in the tweets that were supplied having detected and classified the tweets in each of the users collection of tweets the next thing was obviously to output the classification results in the form of a table or in the form of a chart the results of sentiment analysis on the tweets of each user and their identified polarities are depicted in the table presented on this slide and the next slide the results of tweet classification are categorized under three columns namely positive negative and neutral so the numbers under each of these columns basically indicate the fraction of tweets for that particular user which conveyed a positive emotion a negative emotion or a neutral emotion for example if you consider the third row in the table here of the total tweets that were collected for this particular user 1147 tweets conveyed a positive emotion 132 tweets conveyed a negative emotion and a total of 482 tweets conveyed a neutral emotion for the rest of the users the tweet classification or the tweets classified as positive negative or neutral are depicted in the remainder of the table on this particular slide for example for this celebrity acronym as ab the total number of positive tweets were 1612 305 tweets conveyed a negative emotion while 1289 tweets conveyed a neutral emotion sentiment analysis was performed for each tweet for each user and the collective number of tweets depicting positive negative and neutral tweets are what are highlighted on this particular table there has been evidence in literature about extroversion being related with specific word usage on social media and extroverted individuals displaying positivity this display of positivity generally has been associated with usage of words that convey positive emotions even though there has been evidence in literature about extroverts displaying positivity there was no work according to our judgment there was no work that tried to establish an association between personality traits of an individual and the nature of the tweets in order to bridge this gap in this work we attempted to determine if extroversion had an effect on the nature that is the positive or negative nature of tweets based on evidence available for extroversion in literature and the lexical hypothesis the lexical hypothesis is the basis of the big five model and this lexical hypothesis suggests that personality characteristics are reflected in the words that are used to describe other things or people etc the tweets of each user were analyzed using sentiment analysis to identify their polarity and polarity classification assigned a positive or a negative sentiment to an entire tweet the results of polarity detection for the collection of tweets for each user is depicted in the following graph as is very evident in the graph that appears on the screen for each celebrity the number of positive tweets that are highlighted in orange outweigh the percentage of negative tweets for example for this user for this user acronym as ta the percentage of positive tweets or percentage of tweets that conveyed a positive emotion was 50% while 7% of the tweets 7% of the total tweets conveyed a negative emotion so if you look at the bar for each user depicting the ratio of positive to negative tweets it is very clear that each user here depicted has a higher percentage of tweets that convey a positive emotion as as compared to the percentage of tweets that convey a negative emotion 
the number of positive sentiment tweets outnumber the number of negative sentiment tweets for each user, which is a clear indication that extroverted individuals tend to tweet more positively. It can thus be concluded based on the results, it can thus be concluded that individuals with high scores on extroversion are likely to tweet more positively. Based on this, the hypothesis can thus be accepted. The hypothesis which was set can thus be accepted and concluded that extroverted individuals are likely to tweet more positively. These are some of the references that have been used in carrying out these works. Thank you.